demand for medicines that literally rewrite genetic code is growing. Meg Terrell is taking a closer look at companies using CRISPR. Meg? Hey, Kelly. Well, a lot of us now know what CRISPR is. It is this method of very precisely editing uh, DNA. It received the Nobel Prize in 2020 in chemistry for the 2012 discovery uh, by Jennifer Doudna and Emmanuel Charpentier, a, a team of two women scientists. I caught up with Dr. Jennifer Doudna at the Evolve Summit, uh, which aired yesterday. Here's what she had to say about the promise for CRISPR to change human medicine. It's certainly extraordinary to me that we're less than 10 years out from the publication of our work and already there are clinical trials showing CRISPR to be effective in treating or even curing diseases like sickle cell disease or thalassemia. So um, it's really been one of the fastest rollouts, I think, of a technology from the fundamental initial science to an actual application. And guys, there are about three companies that are really leading the way in applying CRISPR to developing new medicines. They're Editas Medicine, Intellia Therapeutics, and CRISPR Therapeutics. They all went public around the same time about five years ago. And check out the returns that you can see for them. They're quite different. I mean, for each one of them, the return's been fairly good. 126% for Editas, 263 for Intellia, and 816% for CRISPR Therapeutics. All of them trying to compete in what Dr. Doudna said about uh, sickle cell disease, but trying to tackle some other diseases as well. Guys? back over to you. Meg, how, it, we talk about this a lot, but how do you balance the promise of some of these treatments with the threats that they also c contain? That is something that Dr. Doudna has thought a lot about. She tells the story uh, that early on in the discovery and realizing the power of this technology, she had this horrible dream about Hitler getting his hands on it. I mean, it's just awful to think about. And we have seen people overstep using the CRISPR technology. So this is something the scientific community is focused on a lot, figuring out how to harness the power for good things and not take it too far. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.